Hey there, Kevin Colby here. Let me ask you a question. Are you using video chapters and timestamps in your YouTube videos? What prompted this was my buddy John Finch of The Father Effect, great YouTube channel, link down below, you ought to check it out, messaged me and said, hey, can you do a video on how to do chapter markers? If you aren't using them in this video, I wanna show you how easy it is to add them. Well, I say easy. It's a little mundane, but I think it's a super way to super serve your viewer. Now, YouTube calls the video chapters a, a visual way of giving your viewers a glimpse into your video. Now, here's a bonus, an added bonus to adding chapters. Google will pick those up. So if you've ever been on Google searching something and a video pops up, because you know Google owns YouTube, and all of a sudden you see chapter markers pop in there. Here's what's great. You can click on the one you're interested in. It will take you to YouTube at that exact spot. So that's an added bonus of adding chapters and timestamps to your videos. Now, when you go to create chapters, there's three things you've got to keep in mind. One, you have to start with zero colon zero zero. That's what kind of triggers the chapters and the timestamps. The second thing is you must have at least three chapters and timestamps. Now you can have as many as you want, but you have to have at least three. And the third thing is the chapters and the timestamps need to be at least 10 seconds or longer. Now again, you can have as many as you want, but those are three important things to remember when you add them. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you on the computer and I'm gonna show you how I added chapters to another video about how to create animated text and titles in Canva. You'll see, you'll see uh, the chapters and the timestamps in there even even how I named them and why I named them that, and then you can do that for your next video. Okay, so we're in the YouTube studio, and here's how you add chapters. Again, this is if you wanna add them manually, which I would recommend. So here's a video that I did right here, um, and it's about how to, how to create animated text in Canva. And if you notice right here, here are all the chapters. Now, nothing links from your description, so always remember that. It'll link in the video, and I'll show you that in just a second. But literally, had someone asked me the other day, is there an easy way to animate? And I'm manually adding these. So let's say we jump to, let's say 132, right? And I try and get as close to them. I I, I tend to go a little under than, than over. But for this one, we're going to start blank. Okay, the next step, there you go. So when it got to 132, I just said 132, add text. Now you can say whatever you want. I think giving more information is better. I wouldn't make them crazy long because they can get cut off on mobile and places, but just enough so the viewer knows what's going on. Let's see a bonus tip right here, 354. So if we go to 354, and again, the way I do this, here, I just play, and, and when I get to that point in the video, of course, I've produced it, so I kind of know what's coming up, right? So I'm going to play right here. Font. We've added some color and an element. Okay, here's a bonus. 354. So I go down here and I type out 354 bonus tip number one. And I add a little teaser about what that is since I have more than, than one bonus tip. Now, let me add a space here just to, to show you something. So when you're done, you want to make sure you hit save. So again, all I've done is I've played this through and I've paused it at the points where I wanted to add a chapter or a timestamp or a show note, whatever you want to call it. Now, let me show you what it looks like on the video. So now that we're here on the video, you go all the way down to your description and there they are. And here's a tip. If you don't see them in blue and they won't link, that means you did something wrong. So you need to go back and change it. It could be just that maybe you didn't hit save or something like that. But Remember the bonus tip I showed you? Now watch what happens when you click on element. it. Okay, here's a bonus tip that's gonna save it you goes a right to that spot and it starts playing. And it will do that on each one of these. So think about how much that can help a viewer. And another thing we talked about is, you notice right here, notice how the chapter names change as we go along. So not only are they, are they down in the description, but they can scrub along right here and see, oh, I like that one, I'll go right there. And then that's what that chapter will be about. So YouTube has published a blog post about why they did this and how they look on mobile and, and everything like that. And I'll put a link down in the description. But one thing you should know about how serious they are about this, and again, it's about super serving the viewer, helping the viewer watch more, stay on YouTube more, is they, they've actually added it as a default setting in your uploads. So when you go into your YouTube studio and you go to settings and you go to upload defaults and you go to advanced, you're gonna see it there and it's automatically on to auto add chapters. 
Now you can override that if you want to, or you can let YouTube decide. If you leave it on, but then later go back and add chapters, they won't override what you've added. So it really comes down to, to what you want to do. Do you want YouTube just to decide the chapters or do you want to add your own? So what do you think about video chapters? Do you use them as a viewer? But let's say as a content creator, are you going to add your own or are you going to just let YouTube do it? I'd love to know in the comments what you think about that. Hope you like this video. Hope it helps you if you decide to add chapters. And I'm Kevin. Keep creating and I'll see you in the next video.